This video is part of the course that is Build REST API with Spring Boot and Spring Data JPA. Link for this course is given in the description. Hello and welcome back. In this course, you are going to learn to build REST APIs with Spring Boot. So, before we start, first you need to understand what is REST API. So, here REST stands for Representational State Transfer. So, what happens in traditional web applications, say for example, if you have worked with JSP, right? Then we have do get and do post. So, inside that we are getting the data and also we are populating the HTML as well. And that HTML along with the data is getting rendered in the browser for the end user who requested. So, basically from our servlet we are returning HTML plus data as the response. So, this is how traditional web application works. So, before few years back, mobile application trend started. So, many web applications were providing their mobile apps, be it Android app or iOS app. Say for example, Facebook mobile application, Twitter mobile application and many mobile applications. Now, say for example, you have student management system web application. So, there you are allowing functionality to create the student, update the student, delete the student and getting the students. Now, same functionality you want to provide through your mobile application. Say for example, using Android application. Now, our web application is deployed on the server and we have any SQL database, say for example, MySQL database and that is on the server as well. So, in our web application, we can write the logic to connect to our MySQL database. Say for example, with our Java web application, we can write the JDBC code to connect to our MySQL database. So, to establish the connection, we need to provide the database credentials that is username and password of our MySQL database. So, that we can provide in our Java web application because that application is deployed on the server and that server is just accessible to us. So, for security reason, it's safe. But in the case of mobile, you can't write the logic to connect to your SQL database in your Android application code, say for example. Because your mobile application is installed in thousands of users mobile. So, for security reason, it's not a good idea to write the logic to connect to your MySQL database from your mobile application. And also, the server on which you have MySQL database, that should be available on private network only. That server should not be publicly available for security reasons. Also, we can't store the data in user's mobile because if we do so, then our web application and mobile application will not be in the sync. So, in this way, we need a bridge between our mobile application and our web application so that we can transfer and get the data from our mobile application to web application and from web application to our mobile application. And that bridge is basically REST API. Now, let's understand this by taking the example of SQL queries. So, in SQL, we have different queries. Say, for example, we have insert query, update query, delete query and select query to get the data. So, each of this query has its own syntax. And whenever you want to create or update the data, you are providing the data, right? Say, for example, in insert query, you are providing insert into and then table name values. So, that is the format and you need to pass the data for insert query and update query. So, in the same way with REST API, we have different HTTP methods. So, here get method to get the data, post method to create the data, put method to update the data and delete method to delete the data. So, your REST API will provide different URLs for creating the student, updating the student, deleting the student and getting the students. So, these are the different HTTP methods and as we proceed further in the course, you will learn all these HTTP methods in detail. So, now we have a bridge between our Java web application and mobile application that is basically REST API. So, now we need a common data format by which our mobile application and Java web application can communicate, right? So, with REST API, we generally use JSON data format. So, here JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So, this is the data format which is understandable by your Java web application and your mobile application as well. Whatever data your mobile application wants to pass to your Java web application, that will be in the format of JSON 
and whatever data your java web application is passing to your mobile application that will be in the format of json so this is the common data format between your java web application and mobile application and that will be understandable by both the applications now here our java web application is providing the apis so our java web application is basically the provider of the apis and our mobile application is calling this apis so our mobile application is consumer of this apis so basically the one who calls your api is the consumer of your api now in this course you are going to learn to build the rest apis with spring boot so our spring boot application is basically the provider of apis if you are providing apis using php application then your php application will be the provider of api and if you are providing the apis with dotnet application then your dotnet application will be the provider of apis in our case for this course spring boot application is the provider of apis now it's not like that only mobile applications can be consumer of api it can be a different php application it can be a dotnet application who consumes your api any web application can consume your api even your ui can also consume your apis because nowadays you know right angular js and react js are in high demand so your ui application can also consume your apis and as already said your mobile application can also be the consumer of your apis be it android application or ios application so the bottom line is that using rest apis two different applications can communicate with each other using different http methods now these two different applications can be anyone for example both of these are web applications or say for example one is web application and another one is mobile application it can be anyone so this is all about rest api and in this course you are going to learn rest apis with spring boot and spring data jpa if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends if you want to learn how to build rest apis with spring boot and spring data jpa then i am having complete course on it this course covers rest api spring boot spring data jpa spring aop that is aspect oriented programming documenting the rest apis with swagger project lombok to avoid the boilerplate code in java and many other topics link for this course is given in the description just click on that link and start your journey with spring boot and spring data jpa we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and happy coding